Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a extended deep dive, show you guys how to use hide.me and kind of show you around the application in terms of a deeper kind of look at it um, as kind of like a tutorial, but also kind of a explanation and how to guide for hide.me. Now, why am I doing this exactly? Well, hide.me is having a Christmas sale and I do think it's one of the best VPNs here on the channel and it's a tier one VPN provider, meaning that it does well across the board in terms of pretty much everything you're gonna be looking for from a VPN. If you guys are interested in checking out hide.me after this video, feel free to click on my link in the pinned comment or description down below. If you click on that link, it's gonna take you to this Christmas sale and you're gonna be able to get a crazy deal here, guys. Um, one month is only $8, two years is around $80, and one year for $60. The two-year plan, though, gives you three months free, as well as two terabytes of cloud storage, which is quite unique and very cool. So that's really nice, probably the best deal you're going to be able to get on Hide.me for a while. So if you guys are interested in Hide.me, I would encourage you to check that out, especially since this is a limited time sale for this month, and it's not going to be running all year like some other VPNs out there that constantly have sales and try to trick you into buying it every single month. This is an actual sale and it's one that I would recommend getting. So guys, let's go ahead and check out Hide.me, show you kind of around the application, how to use it and you know what's good about it in case you haven't decided if you wanna buy it or not yet. Um, right off the bat, we could take a look here. This is gonna be kind of like your notification center, which is kind of cool. They implemented this where you could get updates on things, which is nice. Not every VPN has that. I do like that feature just to stay in the loop of things. And that's kind of cool to always be pushing information right at you through the application, which I do like. You can see your IP down here, and this is gonna be showing your VPN IP or your non-connected regular IP. That way you know you're protected. This is your account status. If you're um, using the free version of hide.me or the paid version, there is a free version that you can try out as well. So that's something to keep in mind. You can extend your plan down here with your payments. And here is your location option to change the server. You can leave it on the recommended option. There are some streaming options which are supposed to be optimized for, sp for specific locations. And you can even add multi-hop here. So you can enter the server as you know something like United States or East Coast, exit server, West Coast. And this does kind of scramble your IP and location pretty well, which is pretty cool. Some other VPNs out there, I think like iVPN actually upcharges for that feature and some other VPNs do as well. So it's nice to see Hide.me include that just kind of in the base package. So that's really nice. Going into the application here, you could click on this little thing, which is the experimental button. And I've been doing some extended tests on this feature today just to give you guys some information. So hide.me.bolt. Um, right here, this is going to be like a new kind of traffic acceleration technology. You guys could click here and learn more about it if you want in terms of the technical stuff. Avoiding the use of UDP for Windows and forcing TCP traffic in order to defeat throttling and slowdowns found on Windows. And they found that Windows does better with TCP and kind of shaping the traffic this way. So it is pretty cool. It's really good for um, gigabit connections and reducing latency and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool technical thing they've got going here. And I was a little bit skeptical of it at first. However, I've actually done, like I said, some extended tests with Hide.me Bolt feature. Um, and I did find that it did make my connection actually noticeably faster, both in terms of speed tests and downloads. So I definitely think this is something that I would enable, especially if you're okay with something more experimental. They're pretty honest about getting feedback and some of these features like this could not be audited by them or they are experimental. So kind of take that in consideration when using some of these features. Um, they're still building out those kind of security functionality of these features, but it's really cool to see that this does increase speeds. So I do like having that as a thing to kind of play around with. I did try this WireGuard um, high performance kernel implementation and I wasn't able to get that good of results with it. I also did have to restart my computer to get it working, um, but I wasn't really too impressed with this feature here in terms of experimental since I didn't get as that good of performance or notice any changes. It's really just this one. And even this one is cool as well. Um, getting different DNS here with their um, thing here could m perhaps make browsing a little bit quicker. I didn't really experience much for downloads or anything like that. Um, you can even exclude specific 
um, IP addresses and stuff like this, which is cool. Um, so yeah, pretty nice. It has that customization there as well. So if we get out of their experimental section, we could go deeper into the settings. In the information tab, you can see information about your current plan, which is pretty standard. And here on the settings things, we have some cool things to play around with, like different application startups. One cool thing here is that um, there is a fallback protocol. And this basically means if you try to connect to WireGuard and there's some kind of issue, it will connect to a different protocol as and not give you any hassle to connect, which is kind of interesting. And I haven't really seen that too much from other VPN providers. We also see tons and tons of DNS options here. We could put your custom DNSs in here for ad blocking or anything like that. So that's really nice. And you can even do the best location mode and customize that into the nearest location or best ping or lowest load. So that's really cool and not something I've seen before either. Moving on to the lab features, we already covered those. We've moved to auto connection features and this is gonna be pretty cool as well. So if i.me starts, you can auto default the ethernet connection to connect to VPN, disable VPN or ignore network. And it also has Wi-Fi features as well. I know some other VPNs have some features like this, but it's primarily Wi-Fi. I do like how they have this Ethernet functionality here. Additionally, Hi.me is one of the few VPNs out there that does support split tunneling, which is really cool. And not only that, but they also have like really good advanced level kind of application um, features here with kind of how it works with VPN. It's kind of like an application level kill switch. You can have all apps have this connectivity while VPN is not active. So, and then you can also have it to limit all connections to VPN. So it says here, Stealth Guard will always be active even when Hide.me is not running. All apps will block in and outgoing connections. So if Hide.me is not running, nothing will be able to connect um, with applications. And it will block internet connections for selected apps. These apps will only work when the VPN is enabled. So I said, it's kind of like an application level kill switch, which is cool. And then they also have like that network level kill switch too, um, which is very customizable and you can even whitelist specific connections. And they even have script support, which is pretty cool. Not many v VPNs support this. I think as of right now, only Hide.me and TorGuard have script support. Um, so this is really for those power users. You can create some pretty cool scripts, launch specific application, kill specific applications, launch a browser when your VPN connects, launch a specific application when it um, launches. So that's pretty cool. Um, and now we can move out into the VPN protocol section. This is where you're gonna have a lot of different options here. It's nice to see them adding Ike V2, Soft Ether. They probably did have to pay some kind of licensing thing for this, so it's nice to see that as an option. Not many VPNs have that support. And we also see WireGuard. One thing here, guys, is that it defaults to automatic, and I would go to WireGuard as the one to use for now, instead of just leaving it automatic, because I think it was kind of messing around with OpenVPN when I was first doing some tests. So we can have that fallback protocol maybe be something like Ike V2 or Soft Ether, and the uh, once you connect and have that feature enabled in um, this section right here, if it doesn't connect with WireGuard, it will fall back to one of these ones. So that's pretty cool and not something I've seen before, like I said. We also see a lot of options here to con configure specific things like stealth mode um, with Ike V2, custom ports to use. Um, you can customize UDP, TCP, customize the tunnel type for that, as well as soft ether customizations. And you can see that here, that kind of experimental WireGuard version. So that's pretty cool. We also see there's extensions here, just giving you some links there and even a little support ticket integrated within the application, which is really cool. And that makes it very easy to send a support ticket. I like this and I think more VPNs should implement this and I haven't actually seen that before either. So really good job here, guys. I really like that. And you even have connection logs and anything like that too, to send that to support to help you out. So Hide.me already has excellent support. They responded to my ticket within like 40 minutes. So that's cool to see that they do care about their customers. And like I said, you can have easy links to here to go to the extensions. Well, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for a deep dive of Hide.me. If you guys like this one, remember, check out that link for this Christmas sale going on right now. And if you're watching this video after that, still click on the link. You might be able to get a good sale um, depending on if Hide.me is keeping some kind of discount for my audience. So make sure to click on those links. And anyways, guys, I hope you like this one and I'll see you again in the next video very soon.